Today, Thanksgiving 1966, a mystery man arrived in the valley aboard a special train. Reclusive billionaire Howard Hughes was an aviator, movie maker, and business tycoon. But in the four years he spent living in Las Vegas, only a handful of people ever saw him face to face. Hughes left an indelible mark on our community. George Knapp looks back at that event half a century ago. This inauspicious railroad crossing in North Las Vegas is the exact spot where Howard Hughes' excellent Nevada adventure began. The billionaire used his influence to essentially clear the tracks so his special train could travel unimpeded from Boston to Las Vegas. On Thanksgiving night, 1966, he arrived with no fanfare. The train stops. Hughes is carted off the train on a stretcher, gets into a van, they drive the van over to the Desert Inn Hotel, to the back of the Desert Inn. They go up the fire escape. They carry, you know, Hughes. Veteran journalist Jeff Schumacher knows the story as well as anyone. He's the content director at the Mob Museum, which has a Hughes exhibit. And he wrote a highly regarded book about the billionaire's years in Nevada, subtitled Power, Paranoia, and Palace Intrigue. He moves into one of the suites and his aides are kind of blocking off the, the hallway and they're, they're operating in the rest of the top floor. Nobody in town knows that Howard Hughes is here. It takes several days for the press to figure this out. The mysterious Howard Hughes has moved to Las Vegas. What is, what's this all about? And the speculation begins. The timing was fortuitous for Las Vegas. The economy was sputtering. Unemployment was up. Gaming revenue was down. Critics were once again saying the town was overbuilt. The arrival of Hughes was seen as a very big deal. Hughes had been here before, starting in the late 40s. He flew over the desert in his many developmental planes, wooed and stashed various women in Las Vegas hotels, hired future sheriff Ralph Lamb to be his eyes and ears, and bought an unassuming green house, which today sits behind KLAS TV, which is something else he eventually decided to buy. Hughes' right-hand man during his four years in Las Vegas, Robert Mayhew, later said that billionaire had no specific business plan in mind when he arrived that he mostly wanted a place to stay.